People should get out on the bikes over spring and summer. It's just it's good to go around and explore the countryside. Maybe explore your local area that you might not have done before. Uh, you might find some things you know you never knew were there. Um, just get a bit of fitness as well, really. You know, if you don't live too far away, you can always commute to work. Um, you know, let one less car on the road. Um, and like I said, a bit more fitness and just allows you to um, get out there. We've had not some great weather to begin yeah. this year, but um, hopefully we'll have some nice ones over the next few months. But what are kind of the safety concerns and what would you say to people who are hoping to get out on their bike or so on? Just make yourself get seen as much as possible. So, you know, make sure you've got some decent lights on the bike or just some lights, uh, maybe some reflective clothing as well and always wear a helmet um, just because you never know what's going to happen. Why is it so important to make sure that your bike is serviced and ready to go? Just keep it in tip-top condition, you know, uh, make sure it's ready to be used. Um, also, say, you know, if, you, if your brakes aren't working properly, you need to stop in a in a in a bad situation you know your bike's going to stop and work as it should do. I suppose for you cycling must be all year round is it do you do it all the time? Yeah pretty much yeah come rain or shine um, so you know make sure I've got plenty of you know waterproof, waterproof gear and bits and pieces just so I can go out no matter what the weather is. Is the spring and the summer the best time for you to get out cycling? Always because you've got longer longer evenings um, so you can go a bit further um, yeah trails are a lot better as well at that time of the year. And what would you say to people who are questioning whether to get out on a bike for the first time this year? Um, I mean, if you're not too, you know, you're not too sure or, you know, maybe not as confident, maybe just go around to your local park or if you've got a nice big garden, just have a little poodle around there to begin with or, you know, maybe somewhere you're familiar with, get used to it, get a little bit more confident and just sort of increase the distance bit by bit.